What's good guys, we back at it again with another video. No, this isn't a vlog. Uh, this is a motivational minutes video, but sometimes I do come out here in Sarasota from time to time. Uh, I like to see the scenery, things like that. This is an extremely nice area. I like to hear the uh, sound of the waves, but I am gonna head back to the car. I don't know if you guys can hear me because of the, uh, the wind. I want you guys to have a little better, better audio, but for the motivational minutes video today, what we're gonna be talking about is believing in yourself when nobody else does, or even when you don't believe in yourself, right? So I feel like this is a really it's a timely video. Obviously, it's tryout season. Um, you know, obviously, I've heard from a couple different people. Oh, I didn't make my JUCO team. Um, I didn't make my high school team. Um, and this isn't just this video isn't just for those people who are in school trying to make a basketball team. Because, like I've said before, we have viewers on this channel all the way up to the age of about 60, like 60, and there's just common misconception among younger people that. You know, older people don't have dreams, aspirations, things they want to be in life, things they want to achieve when that simply isn't the case. Gary Vee says this all the time, that average life expectancy gets raised every year. It's actually up in the 90s now, right? So you still have a lot of life to live even when you are 30, 40, and 50. People still have things they still want to be later, down, later on down the line. And in fact, a lot of successful people in their businesses didn't pop off until they were in their 30s, 40s things like that but back to just believing in yourself um you know for me it really hits home for me because i've always had that problem we all know that i've been doing this for seven eight months now if you watch enough of my videos you know that i've always you know had a struggle with confidence whether that be on the court or off the court um but i think that kind of started for me i don't know if i really told anybody like this specific story but um you know, obviously i was born in um kenner uh grew up in metairie and moved to Atlanta um, around, around six or seven when Hurricane Katrina hit. But um, when I was in Louisiana, living there, I was at a private school called First Baptist. And uh, there was a teacher there. She like really had it out for me, right? So she would say I was a troublemaker. I was a distraction to other kids. Um, she tried to say that there was something wrong with me. Uh, I don't you know, I don't remember the specifics. My mom definitely does because she, she wasn't going for any of it, right? But what this teacher used to do was she used to sit me outside just to show you like how teachers can actually affect the kids, you know, long term self-esteem, what, what they think about themselves. But she used to sit me in the hallway um, and I would have to do my classwork, homework, everything in the hallway by myself and not just like, oh, you're in timeout for 30 minutes. No, I'm talking about for like hours, like hours, like just by myself. And I still have this vivid memory of me sitting sitting in that hallway by myself is kind of crazy that i still remember it but i still like vividly like remember sitting there by myself like doing my work so obviously like i said my mom wasn't going for it she comes up to the school has a conversation with the principal whatever i get moved to a different class and all of a sudden that teacher that that new teacher that i'm with realizes she goes wait wait he's not a troublemaker he's not a distraction he's just bored He's just bored. He 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 he's finishing his classwork faster than everybody else in the classroom, you know. So that's why all of a sudden he starts talking and doing this, this, and that. So from then on, I'm doing, you know, I think it was like a grade above. I'm doing that type of coursework. My mom is buying me a uh, little uh, coursework books from like like <laughs> I used to do those when I when I would get done with my work because I would get done with it so fast. My mom would buy me books to do just so I could, just so I wouldn't be bored and talking to other people, right? But even from then on. You know, luckily I had my mom backing me to back for me, to bat for me and go talk to him and say, oh, no, he's not. There's nothing wrong with him. He's just smart. He's just really smart. Right. And I still have this tendency still to this day to them how, you know, smart I actually am or how talented I really am just because I have that self-doubt still in there. Like, you know, maybe maybe you were out there for a reason. Maybe maybe you aren't as smart, maybe you are a little different, you know, from everybody else, which I feel like a lot of, a lot of you guys feel maybe not, you know, to that extent, obviously you weren't like outside, you know, sitting in the hallway, but you have, you still have that self doubt that, okay, I don't know if I can do this. Actually, someone commented yesterday and said, you know, I, I was at a, I was in my little small area. I was one of the best players, but I moved and all of a sudden I, I'm, I'm around all these better players and I don't know if I can do this anymore. I don't know if I'm that good. I said it before, my first time at Wheeler High School, I was 15 or 16, going to the gym with my dad, saw somebody take it off the glass, coast to coast, punch something. I'm looking at my dad, I'm like, I'm like, bro, like, where are we? Like, what? Come to find out these kids were younger than me, like 14, right? But I had that doubt in my head. 
ah, I don't, I don't know if I'm good enough for this. I don't know if I can do this. And like, I told, I told you guys all the time, I said it yesterday, like most of my DMs, most of my DMs are dealing with confidence, confidence, which is why I have to keep doing these motivational minutes videos to let you guys understand that like you guys, like if you're putting that work in, if you're putting that work in and you, you know what I'm saying? And you truly believe that you can amount to something that, that you're good at this because it's going to be hard in anything. If you don't believe, if you do not believe in yourself first, it's going to be hard to do anything because let me tell you something. The second you start to succeed or you start to show promise and show that you have a future, the first thing that's going to happen, one of the first things that's going to happen, you're going to start to have people try to attack it, right? So, you know, it happens all the time when like when people end up blowing up, all of a sudden haters come out the woodworks. Oh, you're not. Oh, you're not that talented. Oh, you just got lucky. You did this, this and that. And if, if you did, if you guys didn't know, haters, haters, your haters are just people who want to be you, do what you do, but they can't, right? So if you don't believe in yourself first, when you start to hear that outside noise, oh yeah, you're not you're not talented, you can't do this, this and that, it's gonna be extremely tough because you're gonna have it, this inside head right here and the outside. Uh, David Goggins says this all the time, they call him the world's toughest man, mentally toughest man, right? He might be the toughest as well, but he says it all the time, this mental voice in your head that's, it's all just, that's the, that's the comfort. I've said it before. That's the, com it wants you to be comfortable. It doesn't want you to put yourself out there. It doesn't want you to try new things because it's all, it's based in fear. It's based in fear. We all have fear mechanisms programmed in to run away from fear. But like I've said before, everything you want is on the, on the other side of that. It's on the other side of that, that nervousness, that anxiety. So for all of you guys who, you know what I'm saying? Or all of you guys who, you might not have made your team. You might not a major team. You might not a major JUCO team. You might not a major high school team. But guess what? Like I asked one kid, he said he didn't make it. I'm like, yeah, bro, how, how old are you? I'm a freshman. I said it like, bro, you know how, like you're young. You're young. And if you just believe in yourself and put that work in, you are a freshman. If you believe in yourself and put that work in, like I'm telling you, I'm telling you, oh, that's all it takes. Yes, all it takes is that drive, that drive, that drive. You have to... You have to have that drive and I promise you it will come to fruition or like just taking it away from basketball. Let's just say you have this dream for a business or this other idea. Let's just say for, for the person who didn't make their Juco team, right? Because I'm never going to lie to you guys, you know, at a certain point, you do have to be real, realistic with yourself. If you are of, of college age, if you are about 20, 21 and basketball just isn't working out for you, you know, you do have to be realistic. I'll never tell you to go chase your dreams and then all of a sudden you're in a situation you're like behind in terms of financially things like that because you wanted to chase a dream you know what i'm saying that 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 just isn't realistic for you anymore so i'll never lie to you and say okay yeah you can be 35 still trying to you can be you can be 35 who didn't play in college still try and make it in the league like i'll never like i'll never try and lie to you guys but at the same time if, if basketball doesn't work out you have a purpose you were put here for a reason you were put here for a reason. You literally just have to find out what that is. Find out what that is. It's going to take some soul searching. It's going to take some days where you just have to, okay, just, just be yourself and really think, okay, what do I like doing? What do I enjoy doing? But once you do find that, once you put that drive behind it, that belief, okay, I was meant to do this. I was meant to do this. Even with this YouTube stuff for me, right? You know, for a long time, I've said it, basketball kind of felt like a, it was on the back burner for me. It was kind of like on the back burner, just something that I kind of just I don't want to say lucked into because I did put in the work, but it kind of just fell into my lap. I hit the genetic lottery. Obviously, I'm six nine, but you know, for I've said it, I was uh, I was the nerd. I was the dude in the reading club. I was the I was the one. That's another thing I want to talk about. After that, after I got after that one teacher um found out, okay, I was just smarter, and she told me that no, you are smart. You're this, this, and that. All of a sudden, from then on, through school, third grade, I hit the target program. Um, which was, you know, the more advanced, the more advanced uh, group of students in the school in terms of uh, academics. I've been in what I hit middle school, same thing. I'm what I'm banned. I'm in reading. I do reading club. I do all that. I'm in. Um, I did 4-H. Uh, I, I was in a public speaking class. I forget what that's called. Um, Toastmasters. Toastmasters. That's what it's called. I did that in middle school, high school, all AP classes, honor roll. So I was the academic who literally just basketball just happened to happen for me just happened to happen for me basically but you know my belief in myself my belief that's one thing 
that's one thing it shifted that belief in myself i had it academically but i never really got it on that court i never really got it on that court so now when i found this youtube thing i found something that okay this is something i like to do like this is something i can i literally enjoy i enjoy this process like you know you still have people i have people trying to tell me ah oh, you're not growing as fast as you should be this this and that that's okay for me because i enjoy this process i enjoy waking up every day okay what am i going to post today because like I say all the time, as long as I affect one person's life, like that's okay. Like I don't need, I don't need all the fanfare. Like I did that. I played on TV. I did all that. I had all the attention. I've had the posters. I had that with basketball. So with this, this is literally just, I'm really just trying to affect as many people as I can. But all in all, guys, like you have to have this inner sense of belief. When no one, when no one else believes you can do it, when everyone's counting you out, when someone, when you have someone in your life who's telling you, Oh yeah, you're never going to amount to nothing. You're you're just a distraction out here. You can't you can't listen to that. You can't intake that. You have to just know and believe that you're on this earth for a reason. You have something to do. It might not be in sports. It might not be in what you think it is cuz a lot of you guys are young, right? So it might not be in what you think it is, but I promise you you're here for a reason. You just have to find that and put that inner drive and belief behind it and understand that you are special. You know what I'm saying? You will amount to something in life. You will. You will. Uh, I didn't mean for this video to get too long, but um, one last thing, um, you know, I have, you know, I met a lot, of, I've met a lot of people in my life, you know, people that aren't in, you know, great situations, um, and 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 it's really a struggle, especially because when people don't understand, like a lot of people, they don't do the things that they do uh, just because they want to, they do it out of survival, they need to survive, right? So I try to tell this one specific person, like, bro, you know, what I'm saying, I don't care how hard it gets. I don't care. I don't care how hard it gets. Make like make the right decision. Don't 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 go down that other path. Just believe. Just keep believing. Do 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 things the right way. And I promise you, it will come out. You know the the right way for you. Like just just keep working. Keep keep working your job. Keep you know what I'm saying. Keep studying. Keep trying to finish college. Get that degree and all that. And I promise you, just keep taking the right steps, and everything will fall in order for you. But uh, like I've said before, like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Appreciate you guys watching. You want the one-on-one -on -one instructions, subscribe or breakdown that gets posted on the channel. Um, hit my website. Um, like I said, appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys next time with the next video.